What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on the St. Louis Blues signing Paul Stastny to a four-year deal that'll pay him uh, seven million dollars per season. You know, I, I really, I said it, I tweeted it right after the um, the Spencer deal went down. That I think it's a foregone conclusion he will be playing in uh, in St. Louis. They need a number one center, and uh, you know he is just at 60 points in 71 games a season with the Avalanche. He added 10 more in seven playoff games. Uh, career high in goals is 28. Career high in points is 79. Um, so you know you're looking at a guy that I think will fit right in with St. Louis, and uh, you know definitely possibly get them over the hump in the uh, in the Western Conference and make them a you know perennial. They are point of threat, but maybe he's that missing X factor. And you know, you, you join U.S. Olympians, Kevin Shattenkirk, David Baggis, um, you know, T.J. Oshie. Uh, you know, those guys are you know there at Lorem, and they they ended up getting him there. And you know, I think um, team that loses out on this is Nashville. You know, they need a number one center. Spetsa wouldn't go there. And um, you know, the uh, you know Stastny wanted St. Louis, and he got St. Louis. It's that simple. And, um, you know, I think that looking at it from a hockey standpoint, he, he made the right choice. Um, would he have gotten a little bit more from the teams? I think so. I think he probably could have gotten seven and a half. Maybe some stupid team would have paid him eight. And I like Stassi, but, I mean, you know, there's some peaks and valleys point-wise. You know, 53 points in 2012, 57 in 2011. Um, you know, some really bad plus-minus seasons. There. Even 24 points in 40 games during the lockout shortened season isn't great, you know, you, you want to be, um, you know, a little bit more prolific than that, but, you know, that's the nature of the beast, so, you know, again, I, I think uh, he made the right choice, St. Louis made the right choice, and uh, if um, I was a betting man, I'd pick St. Louis, they'll challenge Los Angeles for the Cup, for the Western Conference next year, but, you know, there's still some great teams out there, but adding a player like of Stastny's caliber, um, you know, definitely makes them you know, just as active as any team in the West, you know, with, with the opportunity to go to the final. And, uh, you know, I think it's – St. Louis had his brother Yen's rights for a while, and they traded him for the Bruins, who, who was a scrub. That's the story of the Boston Bruins, is if there are two brothers that make the NHL, they always get the bad ones, like Marty Howe, you know, same uh, same difference. But, you know, we'll see uh, – we'll see what happens uh, with – Sassy and St. Louis. I'm curious to see where Hitchcock slots in the lineup. And will he regret leaving Colorado? I mean, there's some amazing young talent in Denver uh, with McKinnon and, you know, Duchesne and Landis Cog and, you know, Riley guys like that. Uh, so learning, uh, you know, leaving that is going to be tough. And that's, he, he's played hockey in Denver since his days at the University of Denver back in, uh, I think, 2005. He was a freshman in 2004. And, uh, you know, I think that he's, um, you know, he could look back on it and say, eh. But, you know, I think they're a little bit closer in uh, in St. Louis to win the Cup. Ever played a game in the AHL? Right from Denver to the Colorado Avalanche. And then was a Calder Finals that year, uh, 2006, 2007. He would have won the Calder, but Evgeny Malkin happened to have an amazing season that year. Anyway, that's like an episode of the Power Play with CJ on the uh, Paul Stastny signing with Saint Lu the St. Louis Blues. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.